Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with a layout for scrap timber using the prompt wood, which I have. But this is mainly my um, product focus creative team post for scrap a sketch. And I'm using this scrap a sketch sketch. This is in the regular scrap a sketch. Um, Facebook group and it's sketch number 87 and as soon as I saw the striped paper in the printables these are some of the um, from the fallen leaves collection I didn't do all of the printables because I was mainly focusing on this striped paper and I remember when this came out when this was put out on the website which is scrapasketch.com uh, I remembered this sketch and I saved the sketch to do with this paper. So uh, what I'm doing is not a fall layout per se. So I didn't cut out any of the beautiful fall icons, but my photo is of my sleeping puppy dog. She's actually kind of, um, uh, I don't know, moping or something. I think she didn't want to get up and and I was kind of trying to make the bed so she just kind of planted herself up there. And this was on Wednesday so I happened to have a wood veneer scripty thing that says Wednesday. And not that that's apropos of anything but uh, I did cut out this little fox and this adorable hedgehog, and who doesn't love a cute um, toadstool? There are three toadstools here, different sizes and different, uh, they're facing different directions. And I found some scraps that had some of these pinwheels in the same colors as the stripes on the paper. And I found a paper in, this is the Adventure Trails collection on, uh, of printables on scrapasketch.com. And it's a, as you can kind of see here, it's, it's ombre from um, a blue to a teal to a green to a lime green. And so I pulled from either end and and got these colors, which I thought really work nicely with the teal color that's in the stripe. And I'm kind of adding the green because she's lying on my um, comforter and my comforter has palm trees on it. So I'm gonna put some palm trees on the page. And I found a flower. This is a pink fresh flower that is the same color kind of in between the red and the orange. It's closer to the orange, I think. And the green leaves are very similar to this. So I, and they're very similar with the palm leaves. So it, it kind of repeats the color. If you've got a color that doesn't go repeated enough times, then what do you know? It goes, it's there. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. And I love this. I did a similar, um, it was a scrap lift and the weave, the paper weaving was over on this side and it had more strips and it wasn't at an angle. So this one's gonna be different. I'm gonna put that off to the side and let's see how I can arrange these things. I'm gonna leave them the eight and a half inch length that they are. I kind of want the blue, I'm gonna put the red and yellow and the blue and orange together. So I'm gonna put the red and the yellow kind of this way, let's say. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the blue that way and the orange this way. Let me bring these a little bit closer there. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. And so what I'm gonna do right now is just pull 
place some liquid glue primarily at the joining point and that'll kind of strap it down. Um, let's see there. And I'm gonna lift the yellow and get some glue under there and over here. And that will paste it down. I'll lift this and do that. And it's very kind of loosely on there, but it's secured well right at the center point where it needs to be. And I have distressed, I cut the stripes um, by hand, just with scissors. And I, um, I kind of, I distressed the edges and, and I let my scissors kind of cut crookedly. I want this striped paper to be against there. And then I thought I would do, no, this long green one and have it up. And I've got the arrows pointing that way. And so I'll put the arrows that way for this one as well. And then that will go there. Is that gonna, gonna work? I think that's gonna work. And then I'll do an, an embellishment cluster up here and an embellishment cluster there in the title somewhere. Not sure where yet. Okay, so given all of that, I'm gonna run a bead of glue on here and make sure that it's parallel because all these lines kind of need to be somewhat straight-ish or a little kind of show. And this is going to go up a little bit higher. So I'm going to kind of do this on there. And that kind of overlaps the red, which I think looks really nice. I like red and green together, even if it isn't Christmas. Uh, and this, I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit there. And I'm maybe gonna push it up a bit. And I'll put this here. I'll bring it down so that you can see some of that. And because this doesn't go all the way up to there, I think I'm gonna take the opportunity to put that right there. I would put a little foam, but I don't think it's going to be needed because everything's kind of um, kind of loosely uh, arranged on there. I thought I would do, well, let me do the little animals first because that's kind of my favorite part of the whole page. I'm going to do this one this way. And right on the corner of the bedspread there. And then this guy is going to kind of be up closer to Reese. Sort of overlapping like that. And then this guy is on some 
tape. I want the I want it to overlap the little animals, so I just put adhesive on there. And I'm going to do this right under here, I think, and then have another one maybe out. I'll just, I won't put those down yet. I'm thinking that the palm trees will go over here. And I'll put the one that's How about let's do it this way with this one that that's going facing away would be right there and maybe the one facing like coming close to it could kind of be under these guys and with one of these anchoring it down again i'm not going to paste it down because i'm not committed yet uh, this i will paste down and it's gonna go right here and in addition to my wood title which could go like that or it could actually go over the yellow stripe. I kind of like that. Um, I want to do these leaves, these wooden leaves kind of coming out of the floral. And I have this swirl that I'm not quite sure how I can fit it in. It's getting a little busy in the area where I thought about using it. And I'm not crazy about that thing being there right now. Okay, so that's there and I'm going to put another one of these kind of right down there just to make it look like it's a an intentional collection of them. I'll do that and then I can repeat. I have more of those here. Let's see, that's not the one I cut from. Here we go. Let me pull this out and see what colors I want to use. Um, here are my scissors. I'll do another yellow one down here, but I'll make it smaller. And so I'll have a group of three down there. And it's the, got the same two golds and orangey golds that uh, Lisa has in the um, printables, and I didn't have to edit or punch up the color in anything. So I like, there's the red, gold, and teal there, and I'm going to have a, the same here. Now, maybe I want one of these palm trees down here and one here. Maybe the one going out 
could be here by the the animals and then I could have the little the three little thingies there and I could have another one here and I could have my pair of overlapping dog bones leave the Wednesday up there. Do I want this swirly cue at all? Or up here or down here? I think not at all, but I will do the little overlapping hearts. Maybe, right? Let me get a little bit of foam to go on the back of those. Um, umbrellas. Do it like that. And then a big one here. I love these colors, I just can't tell you. And to me, they look, uh, they're just as um, evocative, let's say, or reminiscent or of um, bright summery colors as they are fall. And I <laughs> was having a discussion the other day <laughs> with someone explaining why I'm not a fan of fall. And I've talked to you all about it before. It's when things die, for gosh sakes. It's, um, I don't know. It's it's when all the hope and promise of summer is kind of kind of coming to an end. And um, it, it, I prefer that, uh, I like hot weather, I guess, is the, the base of it, the basis of it. I'm gonna kind of do that. I don't have this glued down yet, but that won't take me but a second. Here we go. Go there and there and then this guy will, I'm gonna glue that down so that it doesn't keep pushing against my bones. Um, Okay, that's not gonna do much, I don't think, unless I secure it in at the bottom and the top. There. And then this goes away. I do need to put this guy in. And now I have to figure out where he goes. there and it can end at this guy okay so i think we're done i will um add some journaling about oh no i haven't put the title on about how um james and the girls went to nashville and left me all alone with reese for a few days and uh for the first time ever I let her sleep in my bed, and uh, <laughs> it was it was an experience. It was it was great. James is traveling a little more for work these days, so I'm sure I'll have another opportunity. This was uh, an un unusual in that Katie was also gone, and of course Barrett's at basic training, so. Reese and I were all by ourselves, and I think James was a little concerned about how I would, how we would fare, <laughs> but 
a uh, I think he was pleased with how well it went. And I kind of miss Reese today. So, okay. I think I've met the requirements for, there's wood all over the place on this page. And I absolutely, if I haven't sold you on the fact that you need to go check out the printables at scrapasketch.com, I don't know what we'll, because or these colors are absolutely gorgeous. And you can, you can kind of see how the embellishments, look at the, the umbrella that's in that teal color and the sweaters have all the colors on them and the boots in that teal color with the fall leaves. It's just absolutely adorable. And look, I've got a squirrel for, um, for, for baby squirrel pages. And what I can do, what I do lots of times, I've done with a lot of the printables, if I see an image that I know I want to use, maybe different sizes, and, and maybe I'll want to have a lot of them around, I uh, bring it out. Uh, it comes in PDF file format. I bring it over to my desktop and put it in uh, JPEG format, bring it into my photo program, edit out, kind of crop out the image that I want, and then I can do whatever I want, run it through filters, edit it uh, just in my photos program, um, making it, you know, more saturated, less saturated, uh, whatever. And then uh, I can print it, like I will probably print this in, you know, different sizes. I'll print a whole page of them and I might show you that when I do it. So there, and, and if you like toadstools, if you like mushrooms, you can do the same thing. Likewise, pumpkins. And of course, during Calvin Ball, I'm gonna print me a whole bunch of these little hedgehogs. So I, and you can mix and match papers. It's just like any papers you might have in your stash, except when you get them, they're digital. And that means you can do all kinds of things with them. And you can print them as many times as you want and not have to go back to the store and pay for them. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I've used already, I've used this paper, I think on two other layouts. So I've printed it. it it's like having three eight and a half by 11 sheets of this particular pattern paper and uh, well, only paying for it once and, and it's like really reasonable. So I can't say enough about it. And of course, you all know that I adore Lisa and everything that she creates have done for many, many years before Scrap a Sketch and before she was um, the famous sketch lady. I just was crazy about her scrapbooking style. And and now I'm crazy about her son. <laughs> so, hello, Johnny. Hello, Lisa. This is Reese. You should meet Reese. I'm going to see to it that... that uh, one of these days, you all meet Reese. And I thank you for watching. Bye.